What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take your retro bat build to the next level with the RGS Team Pixin script. But you know me, let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video. All right, here I am over here on my retro bat machine. Now, if you want the RGS version of Retrobat, the first thing you're going to need is Retrobat. <laughs> so I'm going to very quickly do that. Now, if you've already got Retrobat installed, I'll have the timestamps linked in the description. You can skip forward to that so that you don't have to wait. But for anybody that's new to this, it's really simple. You're going to Google Retrobat. You're going to click whichever link says download Retrobat V7, similar to what you're seeing on my screen now. Hey, future editor Kev here. Just wanted to very quickly jump in. In the video, I'm going to show you me downloading 7.5.1.1. Don't do that. Now, if you're watching this video further on down the road, head over to the Team Pixel Nostalgia Discord. Link will be in the description and check in the Retrobat V7 channel and it'll tell you everything you need to know. For now, this is the supported version 7.5.0.0. You're going to click download now. It's going to take you to their GitHub page. And we are looking for this top one here, stable Win64 Setup EX. And now we're off to the races. I'll let this download so that you don't have to wait. But when I get back, we'll go ahead and install it. And then we can actually get to installing that RGS script. All right, it just finished downloading. We're going to go ahead and click it to open it up. And we can close out of the browser. If it wants to close browser, hello. If you get this pop up here, just click more info run anyways, as long as you got it from the same source that I just got it from. <laughs> All right, before we continue any further, my suggestion for you is to do this on an external drive, or if you have multiple drives on your machine, go ahead and use a secondary drive or an external drive. Give it the label R trust me. You'll thank me later. It's just, Give it the label letter, letter R if it asks during a format or, um, you know, you can always go in and just change that. For now, we're going to go ahead and continue through with the installation. Now, once this finishes installing, I'll come back and then we'll get into actually installing RGS. So I know, and that's the whole reason you clicked on the video. So I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, the components and prerequisites installation portion is complete. We're going to go ahead and click next. This is where you'll choose that drive letter. Like I told you earlier, make a partition on your drive, use a secondary drive or use an external drive and label it R. It'll help you out later with some of the ROM packs. Anyways, so yeah, this is where you're going to want to choose your specific drive. Remember, like I said, either external or a secondary drive. Don't use your main drive and unless it's the only drive you have, then just use it. We're going to go ahead and click install. And now we're going to wait again. <laughs> I'll be back when it's done installing so that you don't have to wait. And then we're finally, finally going to go ahead and get into installing RGS on our Retrobat machine. All right. Retrobat has finished installing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check this box here. Run Retrobat EXE and we're going to run it once. We're going to click finish and it should automatically start up. Ooh, fancy. All right, here we are in Retrobat in all of its greatness, but it was short lived because we're going to go ahead and close this out and get to installing the Team Pixel Nostalgia RGS script for Retrobat. So let's go. So I've got Retrobat closed. I will leave the link in the description, but we're going to the Pixel Nostalgia GitHub. You can see that there. And we are going to download the corresponding link to our Retrobat version. So we're going to use this one here today because it's the latest 7.5.0.0. You're going to click this. This scary stuff's going to pop up. Just go over here and click this little download raw file button. It's going to download. We're going to click the little folder. It just makes it easy for us to be able to find it. And now we've got it here. Go ahead and right click the file that you just downloaded and click copy. And now you need to locate where your Retrobat folder is. For me, it's in local disk C in Retrobat. For you, it should be 
in disc R <laughs> in Retrobat. So hopefully, like I said, you know, it's not a requirement, but it's just something that's going to make it way easier once you start getting to some of the bigger ROM packs and some of the more modern arcade games. Now, as you can see, I've got Retrobat here and I have the Pixin RB 7.5.0.0 deploy script inside of the folder. All right, I heard you've got everything set up. We can go ahead and double click this now and click run. And realistically, we're off to the races now. This is gonna take some time. Just let it do its thing. Very quickly, I do want to show off Rapsters Tech Hangout here on YouTube. Super awesome guy. He is one of the devs and creators. I don't like giving people titles that I don't fully understand, but he is one of the developers um, and one of the members of the Team Pixel Nostalgia team. So shout out to him. Here's his YouTube channel here. Go ahead and subscribe to him. And he's got all types of stuff showing off every pack they add. As you saw from the last video I just showed you, and I'm going to leave this link in the description as well. This is the full length install video from the Team Pixel Nostalgia group themselves. So, <laughs> so I'll leave his video in the description below because I know mine won't do it, you know, the install process justice. And if you have any questions, his video is going to be a little more thorough than mine. Shout out again to the Team Pixel Nostalgia team. And uh, they're, they're doing really great things. And it's allowing me to be able to show you it all and enhance your system. Now, before I fast forward, one more thing I want to tell you is, because you're probably wondering if you've never heard of this before, why the hell do I need this, Kev? Well, one thing is, it adds all the BIOS. <coughs> but you didn't hear that from me. Um, it adds custom themes, custom configs, custom emulators. It adds all types of stuff to your Retrobat machine to basically just give you a head start. Some of us who've set them up manually know sometimes you've got to go and add custom emulators yourself, being the <coughs> Switch uh, emulator, etc. But uh, this just takes care of all that for you and really removes a lot of the hassle of those next steps after you install Retrobat. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and stop yapping. I'll be back when this is done. All right, the Team Pixel Nostalgia script has finished installing. It's asked us something. I don't know how long it's been up, but it says I've only got 60 seconds. So it says, do I want to delete the package, the install package? Yes, I do. Yes, because we're done. You select a yes. The package will be kept for future use. Son of a bitch, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> now I've got to go delete this extra package. So you go ahead. <laughs> Damn it. When this pops up on your screen, go ahead and press N so that you can delete it. You don't need it anymore. It's just the install package, but everything's already been installed. So go ahead and press N and then you can, <laughs> and then you can press any button to close out of this terminal screen. All right, I've gotten myself together some. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open the Retrobat application. If you want, you can right click it. This is what I'm gonna do. Pin to start. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that, that, no, I want to pin the taskbar. Pin the taskbar. There we go. Ooh, you know you did it right when you see this boot animation start up on your screen. I don't know if you remember, but this is different from the one that we saw during the fresh install. All right, here we are in Retrobat. Now, you know that you have the Team Picks and Build when you A, see that boot animation that we just saw, and you B, see this new fancy pantsy theme here so we're good to go now we're i'm going to go ahead and plug a controller into my machine really quickly you probably already have done that if not go ahead and do that now hmm. all right now that i've got my controller plugged into this bad puppy we're going to scroll to you see this icon here retro bat you're going to click on that and the first icon that should pop up is the update service. You're going to want to go ahead and run that. So click X or A on your controller. I know it's going to seem like, damn, didn't I just do this? Yeah, I know. I know. Just, just be quiet. <laughs> just, just do it. Just do it. If we're going to do this update. I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to wait for probably the fifth time in this video, but it'll be worth it. It'll all be worth it. And we're almost, we're at the home stretch, damn it. So you just hold on to your horses. All right, once the update finishes and kicks you back to this screen, go ahead and go back and quit. Exit out of Retrobat. 
and then reload Retrobat. All right, you following me? Reload Retrobat. Wait for the fancy pantsy boot animation. And then I don't know if you could guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back in and we're gonna hit the update service again. Just like before, I'll be right back whenever it's done doing its thing. So once it kicks you back to this screen again, then you're done, you're good to go. You can restart your Retrobat application or you can restart the entire Retrobat machine. Now, the reason we ran that twice was just in case. I'm not even sure if that's 100% necessary, but just in case we ran it twice, everything's good to go. So now you have Retrobat installed and now you have RGS installed. Really the only thing that you need to do is head over to the RGS Discord that I showed you here before and the link will be in the description. You can grab your ROM packs, ask for any support, hop in and, and show your appreciation, whatever the case may be. That's really all you have left to do and to enjoy your machine. Now I know I've probably missed some things in this video, so you let me know in the comments below. What did I forget to mention? Is there some crucial step that you perform when you're installing Retrobat on a new machine? Any tips you can give anybody who might be new to this? But that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. Now that you've got RGS on your Retrobat machine, I'll catch you in the next video. Wait, 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 wait. So things are getting super spicy on my channel. I think we're gonna hit 10K before the end of the year. That'll be an awesome Christmas present. So if you're hearing this and you're not subscribed, look out for the cookout and go ahead and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, appreciate you. Thank you so much. And stay subscribed. Don't unsubscribe. So new rule. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you are subscribed, stay subscribed. <laughs> Also, I want to take this little small amount of time at the end of the video, shout out to my YouTube members. I didn't even realize it. For the longest, I thought it was just Steve in there all on his own. No, I've got multiple of you guys. As of right now, I have three channel members on the channel. We've got Steve, good old Steve, first channel member. We've got IJ, second channel member. And we've got, I hope I'm not mispronouncing this, Foosh as the third channel member. Shout out to all three of them. And show my appreciation to you guys. So anyways, anyways, I'm, I'm leaving now. It's, the, the video is about to end. Get your TV remote ready or, or your mouse ready or get your finger ready because it's it, it's over. It's over. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs>